the wait is over. You ought to rejoice because for those of you who have been in a waiting season, you have endured the test and the temptation to move out of time. God is bringing you into every promise that he showed you years ago, months ago, weeks ago. The wait is over. The Lord put in my spirit this morning to read Deuteronomy chapter 28, the blessings for obedience. I'm going to start with verse three. You will be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. The fruit of your womb will be blessed and the crops of your land and the young of your livestock, the cows of your herds and the lambs of your flocks, your basket and your kneading trough will be blessed. You will be blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out. The Lord will grant that the enemies who rise up against you will be defeated before you. They will come at you from one direction, but flee from you in seven. The Lord will send a blessing on your barns and on everything you put your hands to. The Lord your God will bless you in the land he is giving you. For the obedience that you gave God, that you sold unto the Lord, even though you were suffering, the fact that you had to wait upon the Lord, even in the midst of the temptation to move, even in the tempt midst of the temptation to make your own way, to do it the way that you thought it was best, you still surrender your heart to God and you decided to wait. You decided to worship even when you were being made a spectacle. You, were, you decided to serve places that didn't serve you on account of Jesus. You sold a surrender to God in this last season. And the Lord is saying, my son, my daughter, he says, the wait is over. This is not just a breakthrough. This is a breakout. For many of you, the month of July, you will see joy and jubilee. You are coming out of that place of laboring with tears. God is moving you from being at the last to pushing you to the front. You're coming from the bottom to the top. The Lord's word over your life is Deuteronomy 28. You are living in the Deuteronomy 28 of your life. You're going to look around and be like, is this real? It is real, sons and daughters of the Lord Jesus. The wait is over. You ought to praise him now.